Hey, hey guys. guys! This is Hailey and this is Mihei. Welcome to Daku TV. So we got a comment on our chocolate first impression video last time asking why the drama wasn't that popular in Korea because it was huge in other countries. So for today, we'll try to answer that question, but of course, we're not experts or anything, so mm -hmm. don't take this too seriously. We're just putting our two cents out there. Then, let's, let's get, get started! started. Actually, we can't say that Chocolate had the lowest ratings because it reached 4.6% for its final episode, which isn't that low for a cable channel. But what we did notice was that it wasn't quite popular among the 20 to 40 year old generation. And this can roughly be seen through the video clips uploaded by the channels themselves. So for example, if we look at Chocolate's video clips, it has around 353k, 4.9k, 2.1k, and etc. So this isn't that high for a drama video clip on YouTube. But on the other hand, if we look at Be Melodramatic, which is also a JTBC drama and actually had even lower ratings than Chocolate with 1.8%, their video clips have 1.9 million views, 1.5 million views, and you can see that it's pretty high. So today's video will focus more on why we thought chocolate didn't trend as much among the younger generation. So, I think the reason why this drama wasn't that attractive to Koreans is because we've seen these kinds of dramas way too much. Um, in fact, the writer Lee kyung hee has been criticized for using a typical K-drama cliches mm. in her previous work, Uncontrollably Fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like um, The Secret of Birth, The Rich Guy and a Poor Girl, Incurable Disease, or The Cinderella Concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, these dramas were popular back in the early 2000s, but now we're in 2020, so mm -hmm. Koreans have moved on from those storylines. Mm, yeah. I mean, of course, Chocolate did have heartwarming scenes mm -hmm. and these touching love stories, but this Min Song having that terminal illness, the forbidden love structure, mm -hmm. or Chebo inheritance, and all the female lead trying to solve all her mother and brother's, pro brother's problems. I mean, Koreans, it doesn't appeal to Koreans anymore. Yeah, so yeah. a columnist mentioned. Um, I didn't know we'd even get a scent of Daejanggum in a 2020 drama, Chocolate. <laughs> and Daejanggum, you know, it's mm -hmm. aired in 2003. And I also feel like the general trend K-dramas are going towards these days is having a more fast-paced storyline, which might go against the usual melodrama style since they tend to be more slow-paced. Right. You know how they say with all these technological advancements, mm. Um, it's also affecting our lifestyle, mm -hmm. like everything being faster and more right. efficient. So I think this trend also applies to K-dramas as well. Mm. Yeah, as you can see in Vagabond or Stove League, you know, you can definitely tell that there's a lot going on, like boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, the storyline doesn't lose the tension throughout the episodes. Yeah, but um, at the same time, I think we still have the thirst for mm. slow content. So we would still watch it, but only when we feel like it. Mm, mm. Right. I think the case for chocolate was people weren't really expecting a relaxing, healing type of drama. They were expecting a mellow drama, but that mellow kicked mm -hmm. in only in the 14th episode. So for those who were looking forward to that aspect, I think it might have felt very slow. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's where it lost a lot of its viewers. Yeah. And nowadays, what we see a lot is people attributing the success of a drama to the lines between the characters. Mm -hmm. um, this is a soccer term, tiki-taka, mm -hmm. <laughs> meaning the style of play involving short passes among the players. And in Korea, we use this to describe the lines between the actors mm -hmm. as well. So when we say a drama has great tiki-taka, it means it has great short lines going back and forth between the characters. Yeah, these days a lot of YouTube thumbnails have mm -hmm. tiki taka in them. For example, if you've watched Search WWW, you can see it between Scarlett and Tami. And also in Crash Landing on You, you can find it between Pyo Chisu and Seri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these type of short tiki takas among the characters really add entertainment mm -hmm. and keep the viewers hooked to the drama. But in Chocolate, 
Because of its style, I think we barely saw any of these tiki takas, so、right. maybe this was one of the reasons why it didn't interest a lot of people. Yeah, but this doesn't mean that everyone in Korea thought so. Of course, yeah, of course, there were people who said that they were so moved and that it made them reflect on their lives. Especially surrounded by fast paced K dramas, some said it's really nice to have a relaxing drama s with great soundtracks. So, this was it for today. We hope it gave you some insight on why chocolate didn't have the highest ratings in Korea. And please let us know through the comments below how chocolate was received in your country. And we'll see you next time. Then, watch K drama and finger with Toku TV. Bye! Bye. Chocolate.、Mm. The Godiva chocolate they had in the PPO. <laughs> oh!